Welcome to MAKE, Hands-On Intro to Engineering Design, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this video, we are going to introduce sketches and sketching basics. Hello, today we are going to be furthering our discussion of uh, parts by talking about sketches. Sketches are 2D planar drawings, and these are used to create 3D volumes by extrusion, revolution around an axis, sweeping it along a path, or created a lofted volume between two sketches. Sketches can be drawn on any plane, uh, including those from the origin, which can be found in the uh, tree view on the left-hand side of the window, or on a surface that exists on a part. So if you extrude a surface, you can then uh, draw a sketch on any planar surface that exists from that extrusion. <clears throat> um, Sketches are created from primitives, including lines, points, splines, arcs, or basic shapes, including circles, ellipses, squares, or polygons. <clears throat> the dimensions are defined on sketches, um, and these are used to uh, define the rest of the dimensions within the entire uh, part. So let's get started here, and we can select a new part from our welcome screen. I'm going to select a standard millimeter uh, template hit create and that will bring up the uh, part environment uh, that was introduced in a previous video. Now we can begin a sketch by clicking on the create 2D sketch button here in the upper left hand corner. When you click that it will bring up the available planes um, that you can select to draw your sketch on. Uh, normally this doesn't occur uh, if you have a part already drawn, just in this case, there are not any active planes uh, aside from those created from the origin. So it shows those for us uh, as a tool. So we can just select this plane, and this is going to be our XZ plane. Um, and I'm just going to click on that. And that allows, just allows us to create a new 2D sketch on that plane. I click on it, and then it's going to uh, bring that sketch normal so that we are drawing in the planar surface. <clears throat> we can rotate this around. So we're looking at the top here. And uh, we can begin drawing our sketch. Um, today I'm just going to do a, a basic example of a small plate that contains uh, several holes in it. So we're going to start here. We created our 2D sketch and we're going to select a line. Now when we click on the line, it will allow us to draw uh, the line by just selecting uh, using a right, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a left click um, at our start point and our end point. If you notice as I drag the line out, it has a dimension associated with it, including the direction and the length. Um, what you can do is uh, place the line in the orientation that you would like it to be drawn and then actually type in the distance you would like it to be and it will create that with the dimensions uh, you supply. So if I select 10 millimeters, hit tab, um, it would allow us also, if we chose to, to select the, the angle. So right now it's set at 180 degrees. We could say 90. If we hit tab again, it's going to change the orientation. If I zoom in a little here, you can see that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit tab again to bring me back to the uh, angle. I'm going to hit 180 on the keyboard hit tab, it puts the line in the proper orientation for us, and then I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard. And so if you notice, this now creates a line 10 millimeters long um, and a specified angle. This is actually a fully constrained uh, part of the sketch now. So what we can do is continue this sketch. Uh, we're going to draw another line vertically and we're going to type in our dimension here. We're going to say 10. We're going to hit enter again. And now we're going to hit escape and that will bring us out of the line. So now you know how to create some basic lines. And I'm just going to finish up the rest of this sketch here. An important thing to remember is to always ensure that you are snapping to the point that you want to be. Uh, if you notice when I drew that previous line, I clicked slightly off of the uh, endpoint of the line and it 
allowed me to create that line. Um, and so if you're trying to create a closed shape to create an extrusion, which we'll talk about later, uh, which is what you would do in most cases, um, you're going to want to make sure that you're snapped to the proper point on your line. And you can do that by zooming in uh, using the scroll wheel. So I'm going to click here. It shows up green if I'm snapped in the proper location. I'm going to drag my line out horizontally. And I'm going to select 8 millimeters. Again, select the line tool. Go up and I'm going to select another 8 millimeter line. And finally, I'm going to connect these lines. <clears throat> if you don't like the location of the dimensions, say we want to put all of our dimensions on the outside, you can just left click the dimension and drag it to the location you would like it to be placed in. So now you can see that we have a pretty basic uh, outline of a plate that we could uh, want to make. <clears throat> we can now add a few more features here, say some holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a hole in arbitrary position and give it a dimension of one millimeter. So currently you can see the circle has been placed, uh, which, which will be the hole eventually. Um, but it, it is not placed in the proper location where we want it. We can get around this by clicking the dimension tool and this will allow us to select the center point of the circle and another reference to geometry and set the distance away that it will be. So if we want it to be one millimeter away from the surface, uh, the edge of the plate, we say one, one millimeter, we type that dimension in here. It will move it one millimeter. And to get the second reference point, we're going to click the dimension tab again, click the center, and then click this line with the left mouse button. Again, it will bring up the dimension. We can say here, one millimeter. Now that has placed our hole in the proper location. <clears throat> Another way to dimension things is if you already have an existing dimension and you'd like to change it, you can just go in and double click that dimension it will bring up the uh, dimension dialog that we get when we click the dimension button on the ribbon and we can re-dimension that part. So if we wanted to move that circle uh, another millimeter to the left, we just change that dimension. I can go here and add another circle. Uh, there are often times where you will just be snapping your geometry and it will find the, the proper location for you, but you can't rely on that to 100% uh, accurately place your features in your sketch. So you always want to dimension your parts. So again, I'm going to click the circle. I'm going to drag it out um, and type in one for my diameter and hit enter. I'm then going to take the dimension tabs again and dimension the part. So say we, we wanted to specify the distance uh, vertically between these two holes. We can actually select the parts here and say five. This will move our bottom hole since we have a fully constrained uh, sketch feature in the top. When we define this value, it will uh, fully define the position of the bottom circle. Uh, finally, <clears throat> we are going to draw a little slot and this is an additional tool um, that is provided from the sketching environment. So we can click that. That will allow us to draw a line uh, that marks the slot length and then to drag out the diameter. And so I'm just going to say that this is one again. And we can then define the length of this by changing the length of this line. We're going to define that as 2. And then we can position this properly. It's already been snapped to 1, but we can define the dimension. And we'll do the same thing from this side. 1 millimeter. So this has been a brief introduction on how to draw sketches and define dimensions. Uh, we'll be going into more detail with sketching in the later videos. Thank you. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.